the most important thing about motivation is goal setting. And you should always have a goal. You should always set a goal for yourself. My name is Akinola Florence and this morning we'll be talking about goal setting and some barriers that can hinder us from achieving our set goals. I know it's a new year and a lot of us, we've already set a goal for ourselves to achieve in this year. And also some people are yet to set a goal for themselves. And another set of people already gave up on their goals because they could not achieve it in the previous years. But I'm here to tell you that this is another opportunity for you to set a goal for yourself. Not just any goal, but a realistic goal and to be able to achieve them this year. But I'll quickly read from Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, and it says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and it will establish your plans. And also in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21 says, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevail. And also in Habakkuk 2, verse 2, it says, Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on the table so that a herald may run with it. A lot of us, we just imagine some goals in our head, but we refuse to put them down. The Bible says you should write down the revelation and visit it every day. A lot of us, we write down our goals and just put it somewhere. It is not enough. You need to revisit your goals to know if you are actually working towards achieving it or you are not doing anything about it. Let's take a look at the word go. G stands for grow what matters. That means don't just grow anything. Grow what matters. And all st says one step A at a time that is one step at a time l stands for little by little and s steps will add up the moment you start taking that steps one after the other one step at a time little by little it will surely add up one thing i want you to know is that a goal without a plan is just a wish you can write down many goals but if you don't take action on it it is just a wish. It will never come to pass. And also, a goal is a dream with action behind it. Not just imagining any goal, but with action, your action behind it. Write your goals down in details and read your goals every day. I said this earlier. And there are so many barriers that can hinder us from achieving our set goals. Number one is... um not setting a realistic goal you know that you want to achieve a goal in just a year and you set a goal that you know within yourself that it is five years that you will be able to achieve the goal don't test god god is not a magician i know that god god perform miracles but set a realistic goal for yourself that you know that between this time frame i will be able to achieve this Go number two is laziness. A lot of us will set goals, but we are lazy towards acting. I mean, acting towards achieving that goal. Another barrier is procrastination. I will do it tomorrow, I will do it later in the evening, I will do it in the day. Procrastination is one major barrier to setting I mean, to us achieving our goals. And another one is unchallenged attitude. You know, someone just tell you, oh, this is what you need to do. You're just like, oh, I will do it. Let me just take my time. Unchallenged attitude is also another barrier that can hinder us from achieving our set goal. And when you set your goal, you need to put a time frame. That means your goal is realistic. You need to set a time frame for achieving all of your goals. I will go back to the Bible verse that says, whatsoever you want to do, commit it into the ends of God. We'll make plans, but God makes the plan to come to pass. Lastly, whatsoever it is that you have planned to achieve in this year, your goals, put them in the ends of God and sure, God will help you to achieve all of your goals for this year, 2023 in Jesus name. As we go this week, I ask that the grace of God and the presence of the Lord will go with us. God will help us, inspire us to have a, I mean, a set goal and to be able to achieve them. In Jesus name we pray. Till I see you next week, same time. Bye.